Hello, this is the summary report for the Integrated Aligned Tools release video for use case DBpedia in Work Package 5. This video will summarize the results of this aligned use case and highlight in particular the progress made in the third phase of Aligned. Aligned tools and ontologies are used in all stages of the DBpedia extraction and data dissemination processes including data generation, quality assessment, violation detection, and data dissemination. Align decreases the time needed to identify and report errors in DBpedia, enabling faster development and release life cycles. In the first half of the Align project, we managed to validate DBpedia instance data with RDF unit, validate links from DBpedia to other datasets using the model mapping tool, validate DBpedia Infobox ontology mappings to detect instance data errors stemming from the mapping process, and finally improving the data dissemination using Data ID. In the second half of the Align project, many improvements to tools and processes were implemented, further decreasing the time needed for a data release cycle. RDF Unit is a flexible RDF data unit testing framework, implementing the test-driven quality assessment methodology can test small in-memory RDF triple collections as well as large datasets containing billions of facts such as DBpedia. DBpedia uses RDF unit to validate instance data and ontology mappings using the DBpedia ontology as input. RDF unit automatically generates almost 10,000 data test cases based on the constraints defined by the ontology, which are applied against the triple store containing the release data. Once the validation is complete, an extensive report is generated containing statistics and provenance information of all violations detected in the dataset. This offers comprehensive quality insight into the data. For further details on RDF unit, please watch the video of Deliverable 4.4, Automated Data Testing and Verification Framework. Until the last DBpedia release, mappings between Wikipedia infoboxes and DBpedia ontology were created and curated by the DBpedia community using a simple wiki. An additional conversion to RML, an RDF-based mapping language, was needed to validate these mappings with RDF unit. Currently, DBpedia is changing this approach by introducing a new Git-based mappings UI, where mappings are created directly in RML. Useful summaries, such as for coverage of properties, can aid the mappings editor directly. Post commit hooks of Git are used to automatically deploy RDF unit validations for changed mappings. DBpedia has introduced a Git-based link repository to actively collect, validate and publish links from DBpedia to other datasets. The DBpedia links repository replaces the previous approach of passive republication of links provided by the DBpedia community. It fully supports the DBpedia links lifecycle depicted here. Contributions to this repository must feature a minimum of metadata, validated by RDF unit, and pass the interlink validation test by the Summer model mapping tool. The interlink validation tool is described in detail in the video for deliverable 3.4 named Summer, the model mapping tool. This graphical interface, based on the DBpedia links repository, provides an overview of all outgoing links to other datasets and points out any inconsistency of the given link set. The dissemination phase of the DBpedia release cycle is supported comprehensively by the extensive data ID dataset metadata descriptions. As discussed in the video about DBpedia for deliverable 5.5, integrated aligned tools and tri platforms, the multilayered metadata system data ID provides detailed descriptions of datasets and their manifestations as well as relations to agents, such as persons and organizations, in regard to their rights and responsibilities. It incorporates well-established vocabularies such as PROF or DCAT and was accepted as an input document for the ongoing W3C dataset exchange working group. Data ID does also enable us to describe transformation activities in a data pipeline and all transitory stages of a dataset. The DBpedia extraction framework does record all such activities, including the version of a given software agent, which enables us to establish an unbroken chain of all activities with all input and output data as metadata. Gathering extensive metadata throughout all extraction steps is not only helping to produce exhaustive dataset metadata, 
but also allows for highly expressive log files and convenient summary reports. Here exemplified by automated progress reports forwarded to Slack. The repeater uses data ID to automatically generate the download pages, providing access to all of the 30,000 files published of every release. In addition, we use the containerization platform Docker in connection with DataID to publish DBpedia releases in Docker containers. Data IDs are used to automatically download the necessary files needed for the Docker container based on the language edition chosen by the user.